What's up everybody, Blade Show 2021. I have the privilege to sit down with Greg Medford. Hey sports fans, what's going on? Greg Medford, Never Knife, here at Blade Show. Jeez, it's crazy. Dude. To be back, real people, right? no masks. It's so nice. No, this is the worst part. The worst part is, is they've got all the sheep convinced it's okay to be out. It's <laughs> so great to be free. <laughs> all right, here we go. Uh, I want to talk about knives that I brought last year. <laughs> That right. didn't, didn't get to happen. Right. And and then uh, I wanted to talk about a couple knives I'm bringing this year. How's that? Oh heck yeah, let's do it. Cool. So we've been it. we've been busy as a one-legged man in an ass kicking contest, just making knives for everybody. Last year we bought a really cool knife called the Deep, and we were planning on bringing this knife uh, here to the show, and uh, the show didn't happen. So here's the knife making a year late debut. Uh, cool uh, cool dive knife. Uh, let's see. These are uh, these are CD20. And uh, it was our first foray into this. It's got a fadeaway uh, uh, fuller groove on it. I love that. Uh, just a really cool, it's got a, a fully sculpted and merged in titanium uh, hilt to it. And then as you can see, we've done some cool sculpting on the, uh, on the G10 handles and went with some multicolor for just a really cool, sexy, you know, it's when you're diving, you gotta look cool too. So this kind of fits the bill. Uh, we did a knife without a choil in case you're kind of in a spaz out cut situation right. on like yeah. mesh net, something you might be caught up in. Sure. Big choil, you can catch a knife on the choil and be like, you're not Stuck. cutting. Right. Yeah, so we wanted to make a slip off. I did anyway. So you can slip past your hand and just cut whatever's there. Uh, so super sexy knife, and this has got uh, the patented armor loop finish on it. We're the only company that I know using this right now for knives. It was developed down in Tucson, Arizona for saltwater drilling applications. Oh, okay. So it's got almost zero dimensionality, but instead of it being that sputter technology that puts coating on and leaves right. micros microscopic gaps like PVD or DLC, uh, it actually grows these carbon crystals out of the metal and it makes it really impervious to uh, corrosion. So it's a fantastic product. That's awesome. So we, not only do we have it made out of titanium, we've got that on the titanium and then we've used a really good stainless steel uh, from Crucible Metals, uh, but we've put that finish, that coating on there to protect it that much more. So we think it's it. a really nice entry with a lot of kind of sexy uh, style for oh, yeah. uh, a dive knife. We just came out with a second little dive knife this year. And as it, you know, I was thinking of it as a dive knife. It's called the Mizuchi and it, it's like a god of the sea in Japanese. Yeah. And so the hardest thing you do is name knives. Oh, I, I can only imagine. Any cool name you come up with, some dude's got a knife named it. Like any god, any Norse, the, the Thor, that, the hammer, <laughs> it, all taken. <laughs> you got to start coming up with like, in Indonesian, it's the word for bird claw, you know, whatever. <laughs> that, that's how you do it. So anyways, we came up with this. It's the Mizuchi. And uh, what's cool about it, I've got pretty big paws and yeah. it fits in my hand really nice. It's got nice indexing, thick steel. It's got a wedge, uh, false edge on it with uh, a big hollow grind. It's just a lovely knife. Feel that. Yes, I would love to. Put oh, your thumb on the back yeah. too, so you like oh, it there. Oh man, it, I love how thick the stock and dude, this, the detail here. Yeah, it's, I think it's sexy. It's, oh, absolutely. So, a tiny is. little knife, got a lot of sexy to it. We did some cool uh, 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 sculpting and we did some cool uh, right. surfacing on the handles. I love it. That, that holds in your hand really well. Dude, that, I, you that know what? Beautiful. I like about this if you're going to wear something on your kit and you don't want a really big buoy knife, it doesn't right. take up a lot of real estate. So, it's a tight real estate. It comes with a kydex sheath. Really right. nice knife. Knife small enough you could cuff it on your ankle as a dive knife. So, I think it's a really cool. Uh, all around use or dive knife if you want it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, let's jump over to the Necromancer. Now, uh, the Necromancer, and that's N E C K Romancer, um, we, we can, uh, you can get it in a skeletonized version or with the G10 handles on it. Really cool. Has, it's, I'm getting off on this wedge grind right now, so it's got another wedge on top and uh, gives it a really strong spear point with a really good hollow grind grind to it. So a sexy little neck knife uh, and the sheath is versatile enough you can kind of rig it up on your belt, oh, inside, cool. inside your boots. So it's a pretty cool little thing. Yeah, I like that. I gotta, I gotta see this thing. I think this is the thickest neck knife I've ever seen. That thing's got some stock to it, man. I just feel like it oh, should be workable and right. strong and well, usable. Yeah, you got to be able to use it, right? Yeah. All right, so the last uh, knife that I'll show you guys today is a really fun knife, and it's kind of out of my genre. I started making the Praetorian and my bigger knives when we had a couple wars going. I had a lot of friends deployed, and I was making these just like hard-use 
smash shit, yeah. pry a trunk open, you know, yeah. that kind of stuff. And I just, we got known for making that, and you get an order, you know, you, you sell 100,000 of those, well, you know what you do? You just make them. Yeah. And you get known for that. Well, in the meantime, I'm drawing all these other pictures, I've got all these other ideas, and then we start getting that, I build a company around that, and now I have some freedom to do this other stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, which is awesome. I'm so, so excited. So for me, I've been falling in love with all these more, every, what everyone calls everyday carry or pocket friendly carry knives. Right. I've been kind of falling in love with all these little guys because they're a ton of fun to make. Yeah. So this knife, interesting story. So one of the grandchildren of General uh, George Patton uh, reached out to me through an acquaintance and we started talking and he wanted me to design a, a knife for his grandfather to basically, you know, as younger generations come along, kind of spur them to know about Patton. Right. Because the young people, they're kind of forgetting, you know, yeah. about World War II and For stuff, sure. right? So uh, they got a cool legacy. They asked me to do something. And I just sat down. I looked at all Patton's. Like, he designed all the uniforms and the tanker jackets. And he wow. designed a lot of stuff for his troops and that's paid cool. for it because the government wouldn't pay for it. Oh, man. That's I don't know cute. if you know that. Right? I didn't know that. That's Yeah, cute. so Patton actually paid for a lot of that stuff. And then his designs changed, like, the bomber jacket, the tight waist, tight jersey sleeve. That was yeah. all Patton design. Everything before that looked like it was from the Napoleonic War, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah. So he brought, like, kind of modern style yeah. to the soldier. And I was thinking about the designs and I was thinking about his practicality and I read a book, you know, I read another book about him and I went and watched George C. Scott in the movie Play Him and I was like, all right, if he asked me right now, what would I do? I sat down and drew this. And I think what it is, is a great soldier's knife. And what's interesting is it's a perfect civilian knife too. So I'll tell you about it, okay? Okay. So very straight, straightforward, like no, uh, there's no, if you get my Praetorian, you gotta kind of figure it out. Yeah. You know, it's not what you expect. Right. But it's what we expect now, but your average person's like, what's that? Right. This requires no intellectual leap. It's a knife, like, it translates perfectly, okay? I, so, I love these. So it's for everybody. Right. And then I wanted to hide some cool stuff in it. So we wanted to make a nice flipper out of it. So it's a bearing knife. Um, we wanted it, I was thinking about Pat and he'd like all his guys lined up looking smart in formation. So I wanted to make a knife that doesn't print on your pocket. Right. So this thing's got a really deep carry clip, wraps around the top so it sits way down in the pocket. You could be in New York City and they don't even know it's a knife. Right. And then uh, it's reversible so if you see the little, uh, the little uh, detent or the little uh, depression under here that's the shape of my logo. That just, you can undo this screw and flip it around to the other side for left pocket carry. I love the flush mount. Yeah, I like yeah. it. It's super clean. Super. You know, that was one of the things about him is he liked this kind of clean aesthetic. Like, right. you know, like just minimalism, what you need and functionality. So I was trying to kind of channel that when I was drawing. Yeah. So it's got an over travel limiter, titanium parts, of course. Uh, it's got our new uh, titanium pivot screw with the oversized Torx head. Uh, it flips like a machine gun. And then I wanted to do a really unique grind on this. So I wanted to give someone this classic hollow ground, skin, camp field use, clean yeah. edge, right. but a really tough tip. So how do you do that? So there's all, all different sorts of solutions people have come up with. We did what I call a waterfall grind. So we take our hollow grind, run it straight off the knife instead of wrapping around the edge. And then what you get is a thick area up here. In the tip. And then we, uh, we call it a magnus grind. So we do these two tips, uh, these two flat grinds on the top to give it a little bit of a forward swedge. And what it gives you is a fat point right out here in the middle of the blade. So the tip on this is super strong. Like I could jam this thing down here and pull it out sideways and it won't break the tip. It's really tough. Wow. So it's a slender little pocket knife with a super tough tip. That's awesome. And you can see when you look at it, the, oh, the, yeah. the bevel, you can see there's a lot of meat on the bevel. Oh, you for sure can see that. Yeah, so it's super, you know, it's got a little innovative grind style to it, but doesn't require a big intellectual leap. It's sexy to look at, it's kind of right. cool. It's got stuff going on with it. And then we hid some stuff, some homages to Patton on here. So if you look at it, it's got Willie, his uh, bull terrier on here. I love and it. And we've got his uh, four stars on here for his rank. Of course, it's got the production numbers and stuff. 
It says M48, which is the tanky design. Right. And then uh, it's got our stamp and logo. And then this is the tank tread from an M48 tank track, kind of running across it. So I'm thinking about, you know, you're out in North Africa and your tank gets run over and you pick it up and you get back to business and it kind of, I said, oh, let's put a tank track across the night. Yeah. So just having fun. We do it in uh, uh, olive drab, in uh, this dark crimson black and uh, dark blue as well. So really cool knock. Flip it, see what you think. Oh, absolutely. I would love to. That thing is so smooth. Holy crap. I, I absolutely love that you waterfall grind right is that where you're dude it adds so much thickness to the tip like you were saying that's in that's next level it's funny I, it's yeah. just simple it's a little thing but but it goes a long way especially with what you are known for what you produce you know what I mean but I love how much time you put into the thought of it you know it, I feel like there's some guys out there that you know they want to make a knife but to you it's I want to make a knife, but what is the what's the passion behind it? What's the drive? And I feel like you spend that time to be able to understand it more before you jump in. So there's a you know like all of us who are knife makers, we're functional narcissists, okay? So okay. we're into what we're into and we think we know better and then uh, the the better of us we Try to suppress that so we're sensitive to the human beings around us, okay? Right. But we are all functional narcissists. Every goddamn guy in here is the best knife maker in the building. The thing about when I design knives is I'm never thinking about me or my reputation. I'm always thinking about the balance of form and function and what's it for. So for this, now here's what happened. I designed this bitchin' knife and then the Patton family decided, oh, Grandpa didn't carry a knife, so we're not gonna do that. And I was like, what? I said, well, I'm going to do the knife anyways, and we'll point people to the, fat, the Patent Foundation, and they can still know about it, and okay, I'll just do it on my own. I, I, I love cause, it. Because I made the knife for him and his right. friends, so okay, so it still is, and they're not a part of it, and that's okay. Yeah. Dude, this, I absolutely love this design. Uh, seeing it on Instagram and stuff, I was so excited to come to the show and actually handle one, talk to you about it. I wanted to see your beard. <laughs> <laughs> that, that beard is sexy. You got curves Thanks, and tones Thanks. in it. That thing is awesome. I appreciate it that. Looks like an old tree. You know, it's kind of <laughs> stuff going on with it. I like I it. I appreciate that. <laughs> Dude, you, you're killing it right now. Well, thanks. And honestly, man, I love hanging out, being in the, the pit afterwards, hanging out with you guys, doing the things. Well, come by and say hi more. You know, I don't drink, but I'll always get you a nice tea. All right. That All right. sounds good. All right, cool. Well, okay. Well, thanks, thanks for being to, on, man. Appreciate it. Thank really you guys, everybody guys. at Blade HQ, and for coming out to uh, Blade Show 2021. No masks. <laughs> yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. All right, I'm out. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, jump over to bladehq.com, and check out the playlist down below. See you later.